Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I know I haven't done one for a long time now, um, but it's just been hectic over the winter. But we're finally in the spring, as you can see, it's lovely today. It's a bit windy, hopefully you can hear me alright. Um, but I'm just out setting up some strip grazing fences. The cows have been out four or five days now. Um, so yeah, the sun's come out, it's nice and windy, it's really dried out nicely so I'll just show you what we're up to basically being up to today. Um, it's been a busy day today because we've been cows have been out, cut our first little test paddock of silage. We always like to do one uh, field just to make sure the bale is working so we did that which I'll show you the bales in a minute. Didn't film any of that but we'll get plenty of baling film. I don't want to film too much because baling is baling. So I'll show you what we're doing now and uh, it'll only be a quick little update and uh, then we'll go from there. So we've got this fence set up here. This field's 14 acres and it's well, it's probably more than half, but we've got this fence going halfway through. So this left side is what we're grazing for. And I'll show you the strip grazing fence in a minute. So then we'll graze that half after we've got through this half basically, because otherwise it's a really long strip grazing fence to move all the time. There's loads of grass here. This had slurry umbilicaled onto it probably two months ago I expect now and we had loads of rain to wash in so that was perfect and it's just really grown well um, we left a big boundary down there from the ditch well all the way around and you can really see the difference um, from where the umbilical story has been but also you can see compaction you can see here see these two lines that is compaction from the drill bark so it just goes to show what the compaction is but we wouldn't get the grass because it did if we hadn't put slurry on it so I'm just coming up here to where we've been grazing cows have grazed I don't know if you can see the posts probably not at the minute but uh, they've grazed this first part of this paddock um, and I'm just moving to here today so they've grazed you can see the line there there along there so the right hand side they haven't grazed it tight but we want it to come back well I'm not sure if they're grazing it enough but I'm not too worried because I want it to be plenty of grass the next time they come round. So I'm going to move this fence and then I'll show you the cows. The cows aren't here because they get they stay inside at night, uh, which we'll continue to do because we don't feed inside the uh, we don't feed inside the milking parlour. Um, so the only way to get meal into them is to feed them in the shed or a TMR. So they get TMR by night and then they get fed this grass by day. I'm going to move that fence from there to about there. So they'll get all that tomorrow. They're only, they'll be out for seven hours tomorrow. Um, so that should be plenty. And you can see just up there the bells I did earlier. So I'll go and show you them in a minute. Right, that's what I've given them from there. You can just start to see a faint line there. So that should be enough for them tomorrow. They essentially need 20 kilos of grass per head per day to be at where I want them to be for their intakes because they're getting 30 kilos of TMR in the shed, which I'll show you in a minute. So this should be enough. So this is the first field the cows graze. Um, I've got a video of them coming out, so I'll put that in here. So yeah, that was a little clip from the cows first grazing, running about like mad in here. They did make a little bit of a mess in place, some wet spots here, but not too bad. They do keep coming back to this one for the water, but I'm going to put another water trough in this field there. Those fields there, we are going to mow probably next week. It's uh, Friday today, so next week we'll probably mow those two because they're too long for grazing. And then we, yeah, we mowed the one up there today and bet well no mowed it yesterday bailed it today got 17 bells off of that just because it's a bit long for grazing and then it can start growing back ready to be grazed so this is just a very simple mixed ration they're getting at night it's about 60 percent maize uh 40 percent silage and then they get five kilos of hay 
head of meal so I'm just pushing that up now so that's what they get on top of the grass and as you can see they're all pretty happy in here nibbling away and some light in the cubicles so yeah anyway I hope you've enjoyed this little update I'll do some more soon and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next videos